Welcome to the first part of the tutorial about the FlexiLoop power calculation. In this part, I'm going to explain the reasons why the power calculation has to be considered when using FlexiLoop. And in the second part, we will see how you can use the power calculation tool, which is integrated in the FlexiSoft Designer and helps you calculating the required parameters. First of all, let me explain the basics. Every sensor, actuator and flexi-loop module within the cascade consumes a specific amount of power. Therefore, the amount as well as the different types of devices defines the power which is necessary for the whole cascade. Furthermore, the current and the voltage of every node have to be in a certain range. The current must not exceed the value of 4 ampere. And the input voltage of each flexi-loop node must be in between 16.8 to 30 volt. To calculate the current at a specific point of the cascade, you can simply add up the individual current values of the following devices, including the terminating element. If the current exceeds the value of 4 ampere at any point, it reaches an unacceptable range. On the other side, the voltage decreases along the cascade, due to the voltage drop over the cables. The voltage drop is defined by the current and the cable resistance, which depends on the wire diameter, the cable length and the temperature. These circumstances may lead to the fact that nodes are not sufficiently supplied with the necessary minimum voltage. To reduce the voltage drop, you could for example increase the wire diameter or reduce the cable length, so that the resistance is decreased. But in fact, both scenarios are often not possible because of the given circumstances of your machine. And additionally, it is also not possible to reduce the current consumption of the used sensors and switches. Therefore, SIG offers an accessory module for FlexiLoop, the power injector, which can be added to your cascade at any point. Basically, the power injector accessory has three functions. First of all, it divides the loop into separate sections, thanks to its galvanic isolation. Moreover, it supplies the following section with power and protects it from overcurrent. Therefore, each section is then able to handle a maximum current of 4 ampere. The power injector is connected to 24 volt power supply or via a stop line directly to the cabinet. That's it so far with the basics of the FlexiLoop power calculation. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to cross check all FlexiLoop currents and voltages with the given specification by using the power calculation tool inside the FlexiSoft Designer.